Good morning, my students. In this video, we will have our grammar lesson have got and has got, but the two forms, the affirmative form and the negative form. Let's begin together. What do you think about this one? What can we say about it? It's also it's a affirmative form. So we can say about this picture, I have got a good friend. So the, the affirmative form is the opposite of the negative form. When I, I speak about something I have, I say, for example, I have got a good friend. What do you think about this one? How can we make a sentence about this picture? We can say that you have got a donut, that you have got a donut. Then what about this one? He has got a skateboard. As we said before, with he or she or it, I put has. So he has got a skateboard. What about this? We'll say she. Very good. She has got a book. She has got a book. What about this one? The dog or it has got a bone. It has got a bone. What do you think about this one? Very good. We. If I and you, it means we. We have got a football. We have got a football. What can we say about this picture? You and your friends have got a good English teacher. You and your friends have got a good English teacher. What do you think about this one? She speaks about them. So I'll say, they have got a football. They have got a football. So when we speak about ourselves, we say we. When someone speaks about others, so I'll say they. So we can conclude that. I have got, I can write it, I've got. You have got, we can write it, you've got. He has got, I can write it, he's got. She has got, I can write it, she's got. It has got, I can write it, it's got. We have got, we can write it, we've got. You have got, we can write it, you've got. This is the short form of it. And they have got, we can write it, they have got. So, I have got, you have got, he has got, she has got, it has got, we have got you have got they have got and the short form like what you have in front of you okay now the negative form as we said before negative means not so the negative form of have got is haven't or have not got and has got hasn't or has not got Okay, what can we say about this? We can say, I haven't got a saxophone. I haven't got a saxophone. Lisa, you haven't got a skateboard. You haven't got a skateboard. Here, I'll say what about him in the negative form. He hasn't got a saxophone, but he has got what? A skateboard, but he hasn't got a saxophone. What about this one? How can I make it negative? Can I say she hasn't got a saxophone? No, she has got a saxophone. She hasn't got a skateboard, but she has a saxophone. 
What about this one? Does the dog have here a bone? No. So I'll say it hasn't got a bone. It hasn't got a bone. What about this one? We can say it in the negative form. I can say what? We haven't got a, ba a basketball, but we have got a football. Yes, we haven't got a basketball. What about this one? They haven't got a basketball. They haven't got a basketball, but they have what? A football. Okay, so now I have not got means I haven't got. You have not got means you haven't got. He has not got means he hasn't got. She has not got means she hasn't got. It has not got, it, ha it hasn't got. We haven't, have not got means we haven't got. You have not got means you haven't got. And they have not got means you, they haven't got. Thank you, my, my students. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much.